is up guys cards across texas here today and we are out at uh i don't even know what this is called i think it's kirby ice house in memorial or something like that but uh, we're here for Eat Sleep Car Meets. They are having a big meet coming up next month, but this is the Founders People meeting or something like that. So they got a hand-picked group of cars out here, which is pretty a pretty good selection. They have a racing team from Japan that shipped a AMG race car out here and uh, among other cool stuff. So without further ado, I'm not going to hold you any longer. This meet will be pretty chill. Uh, there's some cool stuff here, so let's take a look around. Remember, Shop Cars Across Texas ends up gets you 20% off. And let me know what your favorite car in today's video is down in the comments below. Let's get to it. I got the C7 Grand Sport. First thing we see, Elkhart Blue, a very nice color, but he's got Lambo doors on. What do y'all think about Lambo doors on a vet? I mean, the vet does have some rather Italian styling, but I still think Lambo doors should just go on cars that come from the factory with them. What do you think? Lambo doors on a vet? I don't know how I feel about it. I like it. It's, it, it you know, it's like, it's kind of... It, you, you know, it, it does, it, yeah, 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 it, I, I think it looks good, but I, there's just something about, like, my heart that wants you know it what? just on the cars Probably from the factory. look better on the C8, honestly. I would agree. That is a little bit more of an Italian car, an Italian-looking car, I should say, not, it's obviously a Chevy, so it's not Italian, but. The C8 looks more. Exotic. European. Then we got the little Challenger here, red pinstriping everywhere, another vet with the Lambo doors on, also with the uh, the doors up. Security rolling through. So, um, Mack Hike Dodge has brought out the new Grand Cherokee, as well as a T-Rex. Boys, I, I, I've been really kind of thinking, a T-Rex would be kind of cool to get as a daily. But, if I get a Viper, then I don't want to have two Dodges. I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking things. Think a Ford truck? Think a diesel truck? I don't know, a T-Rex would be dope. And I think I could make like a, imagine like a thousand horsepower T-Rex street racing. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. We're gonna keep on going. Down the line though, we got a little RCF on some Ferrado wheels, blue brakes, looking good. A very good looking car indeed, also very good sounding. Then, another one of the Eat Sleep Car Meet people, the Atasha Hyundai out here, fully wrapped up, good smile racing and has all their sponsors everywhere, along with this green-haired woman on the side. Keep on going down the line, and we got not, well, we do got one RS6, and then it looks like an S8, maybe? Oh, no, it's two RS6s. These cars look so good. That's, all, that's also on the bucket list for daily drivers. Look how good these look, dude, and they sound incredible as well. And uh, as we keep on going down the line, we do have more good stuff, little F-Type S, but I believe this is a V8 F-Type all-wheel drive. This MR2 is super clean though. Look at this color. This color in the sunlight is nuts. And those gold BVSs fit it absolutely perfectly. Keep on going down the line. I like these wheels on the C7 a whole lot. Those look mighty tasty, but another, uh, I believe, Elkhart Lake blue. Possibly Admiral blue? I don't know. I get them kind of confused. But uh, he's taking the race car inspiration and underneath his angry eyelid headlights, he has done the yellow tinting on them. Good looking car though. Good looking car indeed. The V3 Cadillac CTSV, also another very beautiful car here. He's got some little Cadillac striping thing here. And these mirrors, the color on these mirrors are crazy. Then we got the fully F8 greened out Hellcat Red Eye here. Wide body and everything. Uh, no, no, uh, no black on the like splitter anymore. That's been painted F8 green as well. But F8 green, I mean, is a solid color for sure. And then to round it off this little lineup, a little IS. Looking like lowered. This color's good though. This color's really nice. We got Ali's dream here, the uh, blue 6 Gen Z L1. You like that? If I could ever get it in this color, I wouldn't wrap it or anything. Right, this color is pretty perfect. Looking super good. And you got the, um, oh man, why am I forgetting what it's called? With the sparkly black accents everywhere from the factory. Smart. Yes. Uh, then we got the Ceramic Matrix Gray C6, or C, well, <laughs> C7 ZR1. Sorry, boys. I don't know what that was, but I, 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 I faltered. I faltered. I failed you, boys. Not the high wing pack, though, but still looking good nonetheless. And if you want to go fast in a straight line, that's probably the better option to do. Toe hook on the back. You think he tracks it? Then a Mark IV Supra. And some R888s around the TEs. 
that's clean. I like the gray. I don't think I've ever seen the super out of anything though. This is a very, very clean car. On to the next one. Uh, looks like we got a new Porsche GT4, I think. Yeah, GT4, and it looks like chalk from Porsche. I like the new wing they're putting on these, where it's like the top mounted carbon fiber wing. This wing's crazy. That carbon fiber weave up top is nuts. Look at that. That looks super good. Andy's a dropout. Then to round off this little section of road right here, we got the red Trackhawk with a very fitting license plate. Just Trackhawk on the forge lines. Those are sweet, man. Too bad they're discontinued. Dodge, time to take notes for me. Chrysler 300 Hellcat. All wheel drive, 700 horsepower would be a super sick replacement for this. All right, motorcycle boys. You'll have to help me in the comments because I don't really know what I'm looking at here. But we got a couple bikes on some beefy tires. This guy's got a little nitrous bottle back here, it looks like. I see you, brother. ZX14R, biggest displacement factory bike, I'm pretty sure, on the market. And this color is crazy. Sparkly candy apple. Little airbrush flame details or something. And then you got another ZX14R here as well. Boys, I, I love bikes. I do. I think they're so cool and I respect any of you that ride them. I just know I'm too irresponsible. I'd probably die within 30 minutes of buying one. So one of the best sounding BMWs, maybe aside from the V10 M5 and M6s, we got the E92 M3. The S55 is just such a great sounding NA motor, but boy oh boy have they just heard horror story after horror story keeping these cars up and running. But this is a very clean example of one with the BBS wheels on. He's got the carbon fiber mirrors, the roof, the trunk. Man, I, these things are so cool. Such a, like an understated cool car as well. We got another little cool row of stuff here. We got the uh, very nice Gen 1 Audi R8 on some nice wheels. Got the pretty crazy looking wrap from D3 Motorsports. Uh, also, a gated six speed very nice the windows cracked though no the windows cracked can't trust these houston roads man oh. keep on going down the line though from the r8 with this little carbon fiber wing uh we got the c7r aka mad max because he's got the entire underside of his uh hood and his like valve covers and stuff like that airbrushed and uh mad max inspired sort of liveries then we go on to the next one this thing is actually super sick i've never seen this car out at another show i don't think the evs motors it says daddy's little monster on the side fdrx7 this thing looks crazy this color is super sick you got the r triple eight r's all around on the te's aka daddy's little monster by a guy who loves Harley Quinn or Joker, but this is lady driven. Hmm. Just because that. Oh yeah, there we go. The perks of having a a, a, a lady that is in love with the comics, teaching me the, the little things I might miss. But then he's got his huge picnic table of a carbon fiber wing back here. Look at this thing, <laughs> that looks nuts. And then the back is just as crazy as well. It makes me miss my old car so much. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm, I'm gonna cry. I miss it. I miss it, dude. Uh, I miss it. But oh well, it's time to start the Viper hunt. But on to the next. I mean, can't live in the past. Got a super clean C7Z here. Carbon fiber everywhere. He's got the carbon fiber front diffuser thing, splitter. The little side arches are, are carbon. The hood vents carbon. These side things are carbon. The whole side skirt is carbon. Oh, these aren't carbon yet, and your wing's not carbon. We got a GTR rolling in, though. Even his license plate is carbon. <laughs> so we got an AMG GT here. Not your average AMG GT, though. This would be, I believe, a AMG GT3 race car. Um, and I want to say that this racing team is based out of Japan. Um, I think I've seen them on Instagram and it's just all Japanese-based stuff. Uh, but, of course, you get the fully animated out livery here, anime on the sides, they got all their sponsors everywhere, the side pipes and the race car interior. Ah, uh, yes, from Japan, 
Super cool to see these guys out here. Good smile racing if you want to drop them a follow. You got the big old wing in the back, the crazy diffuser. This livery is absolutely nuts. There's little bits of chrome, there's little bits of camo, there's little bits of everything. And um, it's a lot wider than your average AMG GT. AMG GT. There we go. I can't talk right now. It's too hot. And then we got their, their support vehicle with the rift plate. <laughs> Uh, the Tesla Model X wrapped up in the same sort of livery um, as their AMG race car. Alrighty boys, we're wrapping up this final line that we have here so far. We need to show up a little late, maybe there will be a few more people rolling in, but it's very spicy. What, um, we got a nice little AMG GTR here. GT Car Joe, the homie, it is for sale if you want it. GT Car Joe on Instagram if you want to buy this from him. You want me to? You want me to buy it from him? But the uh, GT3 as well, I know the car me and Allie both rather enjoy. I'd like to get one of these and just put a nice exhaust on it and just rip it around, take a Dakota in Austin or something like that. Behind him we got one more Porsche, the GTS 4.0, and then you got the brand new Audi R8 V10. One last little look around the uh, AMG race car. I don't, uh, this, all this carbon fiber is just legit carbon. This whole body is carbon fiber. Uh, and they just wrapped over the carbon. Even on like the fenders, the doors, fenders. Look at that air tunnel. <laughs> More aerodynamics, that's crazy. All right, they posted a picture of some of the food from this Wiley Street Eats here, and it looks quite delicious. So we're here to eat. A couple of the boys are leaving while we're getting some food. That thing is so clean. And he's got it. Get the plates. Oh, we're inside eating. Some new people have arrived. Some old people are leaving. I think the ZR1 guy got turned around, got lost. He's coming back this way now. Damn, it looks so good though. Jeez. Oh, the MR2 is rolling out. The Jag is also rolling out. Bye, buddy. All right, so while we were inside eating, we had a colorful group of cars join us, starting with the very loud Team Savage R8 Spider over here in bright purple with the bright green brakes. But over yonder, we got the couple goals, Z06s. Husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, I don't know what they are. But I think they're the husband and wife at this point. But the green C7 Z06 and the purple C6 Z06, it's his and hers. Hey, it's that guy from the Barbarossa meet. It's V10 time. Nice. Matte C Pang Blue, a very rare color on the Audi R8 V10. HRE wheels looking damn good. Sheesh. We also got the Aston Martin DBX rolling in. The uh, car for the fam with some luxury. Looking mighty fine. But this thing is still just so crazy to me. It looks nuts. So these guys, uh, they just shipped the car over from Japan specifically for the Anime Matsuri convention that just happened fairly recently. And uh, they just they just have it out, bringing it to a couple shows before they ship it back off to Japan. You got the 67 Mustang out here in a very nice shade of greenish blue. You got the uh, matching interior as well. This thing is absolutely mint, like literally perfect. Not an imperfection in the paint, not an imperfection in the interior. Uh, then we got the couple goals Z06s out here. The purple Z06, hers, never sorry. Looking good. They both just finished these wraps really recently as well. And then you got never enough and the highlighter green. See, this color is nuts. It's not like your typical flat highlighter it's like a metallic flake to it and it actually has some depth to the color it looks insane and we got the aired out srt charger here on the avant-garde wheels ag wheels looking mighty fine <laughs> Appreciate it, man. celebrity fans yeah. just kidding yeah. we're looking at the t-rex like, so cool. I like, think you should get. You should get truck. Like, Probably a red or black one. I'll take the blue one. 
right in like if I get another race car in the future, like which will happen in the next couple months, right? Like it'd be nice to have something to tow, and that's not that's not gonna tow, you know? Yeah. Like you can just put a trailer on that. And, and, <laughs> but. All right, boys, we're hopping in the T Rex. Look at this interior, though. Hold on, we're about to hop in. Alrighty boys, we are hopping in the T-Rex. Limo driving. Alrighty. Oh, these seats are more comfortable than the Jeep ones. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, does this one go up the way it does too on the Jeep? Huh? I think it goes like, what is it? Like raising the suspension? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, this one no, is not the suspension. No, not this one? Alrighty, let's see. This would be pretty dope. I <laughs> can't lie. This would be a super sick daily driver. And Dodge's interiors are just so vastly beyond the interiors of any sort of other manufacturer's truck. Oh, this is nice. I'm not leaving now. <laughs> Sweet. What do y'all think, boys? Do I get a T-Rex and tow the Viper? Or is that too much Dodge? We, we hit the T-Rex button and we got all our our interesting details You got your own personal dinograph in here hmm? <laughs> That's amazing You got your torque horsepower your 400 meter time rate. This is amazing. This is so many unnecessary details for a truck and I am absolutely 100% here for it <laughs> Where is this man going? We got a twin turbo Audi R8 rolling in. Oop. About to die from a Honda. That'd be an unfortunate series of events. Twin turbo. That thing's nuts, dude. We got the old Jeep truck that was in an old Rudy's video a little while ago, the old J10. Oh, here he comes, here he comes again. This thing is mint, bro. The old J10. This thing is absolutely perfectly restored. I don't even know if it was a, a restoration project or they just kept it this nice over the years, but god damn. Someone tell me more about this. I don't know anything about this. Alrighty guys, it is uh, getting a little too spicy out here for me, me and Allie. My blender. Gotta go get Allie a blender in. We gotta get on home so I don't die of heat stroke. But it was a solid show. Quality over quantity here for sure. A little more of a chill meet, but some dope cars nonetheless. So uh, let me know what your favorite car in today's video is down in the comments below. Remember, shop cars across Texas, ends with the pub, 20% off, get you a shirt, jacket, hat, whatever you'd like. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.